Well, first, I wanted to thank my colleagues for the opportunity to serve as the House Republican Conference Chair. I have prioritized listening to all members of our Republican Conference, and my focus is on unity because that's what the American people and that's what our voters deserve. I also want to thank this leadership team. I look forward to working with them in partnership, shoulder to shoulder, to make sure that we are fighting on behalf of hardworking Americans. I also want to thank President Trump for his support. He is a critical part of our Republican team. Uh, and of course, most importantly, I want to thank the voters of New York's 21st Congressional District, whom I'm honored to represent each and every day and fight for them. The American people are suffering under the far-left radical socialist policies of President Joe Biden and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. In just over 100 days, we have an economic crisis, we have a border crisis, and we have a national security crisis. The economic crisis, we see the worst jobs report in over 20 years. Unemployment is up, small businesses are struggling to hire workers, and Speaker Pelosi and Joe Biden's solution to that is to pay people to stay out of work rather than incentivizing people to get back to work. As Republicans, we are fighting to reopen the economy, to create jobs. We are fighting against the trillions of dollars of tax increases and the trillions of dollars of reckless spending. The border crisis. This is not only a national security and homeland security crisis, this is a humanitarian crisis. We see historic concerning numbers when it comes to human trafficking on the border, when it comes to dr drug trafficking on the border. Every single state in this nation is a border state and feels that impact. At home in my district, the northern border is being impacted because Border Patrol officers are being transferred from the northern border to the southern border. Republicans stand for border security. And of course, the national security crisis. We are seeing our strongest ally, Israel, under attack. And we have see seen Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi not step up to stand by and support Israel and prioritize outreach to adversaries like China and Iran. So I'm very excited for this opportunity. We are unified, working as one team, and the American people know that the stakes are incredibly high. We are going to fight for them each and every day against the destructive, radical, far-left socialist agenda of President Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi that's destroying America. And I'll go to the first question from the New York Post, Julie. Um. So uh, you kind of came under fire from some conservatives that were concerned about your record. Are you concerned about, I mean, I know unifying your message, but given those criticisms going into your uh, the vote, uh, I guess how do you kind of overcome that? Listen, the Republican Party is a Big Ten party, and my district is the story of the growth of the Republican Party. My district voted for President Obama by double digits, and it voted for President Trump and myself by double digits. We have worked to grow the Republican Party, and we Nancy Pelosi has her slimmest majority in a generation. We are going on offense and are going to win back the majority in 2022. This is about being unified. I'm a proud conservative Republican, and I will fight for the Republican conference. But how can you be unified? Scott. Is, is President Trump the leader of the Republican Party? I believe that voters determine the leader of the Republican Party, and President Trump is the leader that they look to. Uh, I support President Trump. Uh, voters support President Trump. He is an important voice in our Republican Party, and we look forward to working with but him. how can you be unified so long as you have some members who support the former president and some who don't? We are unified, and I look to the voters across America. Republican voters are unified in their support and their desire to work with President Trump, and we are unified as Republicans. Uh, as, you, as I said, this is the slimmest majority that Nancy Pelosi has in a generation. We picked up a number of seats, defied expectations. We're going on offense, and we're going to win on the issues. Because people are understanding that Joe Biden's pledge to bi of bipartisanship, he has broken that pledge since his first day in office. There has been no bipartisan outreach. It has been party line, partisan, far left votes. And the American people are seeing the disastrous results in the border crisis, the economic crisis, the national security crisis, and more. The American people are hurting, and Republicans are going to fight for them. Upon hearing, yes. upon hearing that uh, Chip Roy was getting in the race, President Trump put out a statement last night suggesting that he should be challenged. Do you agree with that? Um, listen, competition is good in America. We are the United States of America. We should have a discussion of ideas. I welcome the competition. I'm honored for the support. We are working as one team. 
Uh, my job as House Republican Conference Chair, we are focused on putting forth policies and communicating them to the American people to beat Democrats, and we are going to win the majority in 2022 as one team. Yes. Do you, um, is there a place in the party for vocal Trump critics like Liz Cheney, like uh, Adam Kinzinger? Liz Cheney is a part of this conference. Adam Kinzinger is a part of this conference. Uh, they were elected and sent here by the people in their district. They are part of this Republican conference. We are unified in working with President Trump. My job representing our Republican members, the vast majority, yeah. we look forward to working with President Trump. Have, yes. Have you talked talk to Liz Cheney since the events of this week? Have I have not. You Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one last thing. I want to wish our policy chair right here happy birthday. Um, Gary Palmer, it's his birthday knows. today. And so, do you all remember the birthday song? Here we go. This is your birthday song. Hey! All right, everybody have a good weekend.